Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Monica Grace and um, in my channel we talk about spirituality, conscious relationships and anything to do with creating your most empowered life of your dreams, life on your terms. So in this video I want to share with you a, a healing tip and a story to inspire anybody who has been through um, any kind of narcissistic abuse, perhaps in a relationship with a narcissist, or maybe even um, be, has been brought up by a parent who had narcissistic tendencies. Um, and um, what I want to talk about is what is the one single most important thing that you need to heal if you have been through the ring with a narcissist. Watch this video. So first things first, so uh, most of you probably already know who a narcissist is, but for the sake of clarification, I just wanted to briefly explain. Narcissist is somebody who, according to psychologists, has a very grandiose inflated sense of self. Um, they see themselves as more important than other people, more entitled, a more genius, smarter, prettier. Um, and generally, they their number one um, need is to please themselves, have their own needs met without any compromise. They and they go to great length to do that. To do that, um, constantly wanted to win an argument, win in relationships, win in any kind of situations. Um, they constantly seek attention. Um, and um, they are they are they tend to be very ego driven. So everything they do is is tends to basically magnify their their importance, their sense of self. Um, they are incredibly selfish, self observed, self centered. Um, and uh, like I said, they will go to great lengths to have their own needs met, even if it means hurting somebody else. Um, they have a huge sense of entitlement and um, and uh, the most important thing and the saddest thing really about the narcissist is, in my view, is that they um, have, um, they are unable to feel empathy, they are unable to show empathy towards another human being um, and compassion. Um, they... Um, and and this is because um, very likely they themselves have been very badly hurt when they were little, so they created this false sense of persona that sits above their you know heart and soul. They so um, blocked around their heart chakra, around their their true authentic self, because they underneath of all that all the all those masks um, and fears they. Um, they are incredibly insecure and that sense of insecurity it tends to drive all of their actions, constantly seeking status, power, attention in the world. So you may know that a lot of uh, politicians, a lot of public figures, a lot of people, in, um, you know, a lot of celebrities um, um, are narcissists or have narcissistic tendencies. Um, and they basically do what they do to feel better about themselves and feel um, like they're entitled, like they are more important than other people. Like they, there are um, three types of narcissists according to psychologists. There is a grandiose narcissist that is very extroverted, you know, life of a party, but also incredibly selfish and ruthless underneath. Um, then there is the vulnerable type of narcissist um, and, and this is more an introverted person but equally you know very insecure underneath and equally very driven to um, only ever meet their own needs unable to unable to make any kind of compromise to feel a compassion for another human being unable to self-reflect on um, 
any kind of uh, or, or, and unable to receive any kind of criticism or feedback um and and they you know if, if they are criticized or if they have if they do receive some kind of feedback about themselves they react to that incredibly negatively often hurting other people um causing a lot of um, drama you know abusing other people and um and, and they're basically incredibly toxic and then there is the narcissistic personality disorder which is a whole new level of narcissism where the person is so badly shut down they've shut down their authentic self so um almost completely that they've lost um they've lost the ability to uh, feel compassion to um to want to improve themselves they they would never seek personal development because they couldn't possibly admit that there is something wrong with them you know if there is ever a problem they um always point a finger at you even though they are the ones who have caused it and they are incredibly toxic and twisted they are able to spin the situation in a way that they will actually emotionally mentally um, abuse the person their victim um, um, and then discard them um, so as you can see um, and as you probably already know um, dealing with a narcissist is can be incredibly damaging to a person now um, what I wanted to talk about in this video is what is that one thing the most important thing that you need to heal if you have been through the ringer with a narcissist is to, if you have had potentially a narcissistic uh, parent um, or, or a parent with narcissistic tendencies so that one thing that will truly make a difference in your life as you be begin to recover is to learn to trust yourself and really through this process of learning to trust yourself is allowing yourself to connect with your own heart with your own dreams with your own needs and then slowly but surely start taking actions to allow yourself to have your needs met um, start practicing making decisions that are in line with your high with your highest good with your high you know with your heart and soul with your this true authentic desires and initially it can be something really small you know allow yourself to you know buy the kind of clothes that you desire allow yourself to um speak your truth little by little you know um create healthy boundaries for yourself and other people you know you don't have to constantly tiptoe around others and prioritize other people's needs first that's actually never gonna serve you and always going to only result in one thing for you to sort of feel miserable you need to really learn to trust yourself and allow yourself to have your own needs met first and foremost without feeling guilty um you need to understand that just like um you know you have a choice to live your life on your terms everybody else does you you are not here to save anybody you're not here to make other people comfortable provided for taken care of you're not a therapist to other people you first and foremost have the responsibility for your own life to make yourself happy to make allow your needs to be met first and foremost and when you learn um this this process of of tr self you know trusting yourself and allowing yourself to have your own needs met your life will change beyond beyond your wildest dreams and imaginations because behind behind every transformation and every manifestation every creation lies one thing your relationship towards yourself if you're somebody who has been through a narcissistic abuse in the past you know that the narcissist will go to great lengths to invalidate you to make you feel like what you think what you feel what you do is is wrong 
they will make you feel like um you, you know like you're going crazy that you cannot trust yourself they will basically you may, maybe you have a conversation with them and they will say something and you will interpret it and um and the next day or half an hour later they will completely switch and what they've said to you will no longer be true and they will actually demand and claim um, that their truth might be something you know what they've said to you is completely opposite or or a different story and they will invalidate they will continue to invalidate you until you become so confused about yourself that you will stop trusting yourself stop listening to yourself um, and they basically constantly suck your energy they they drain you they you know they they pry on you they take your power away from you by invalidating you by belittling you by um constantly sort of even even like um gently criticizing you all those sort of um easy remarks on how you look you know who you are how you think how smart you are uh, you know said negatively or sarcastically about yourself um are very hurtful you know they, they are basically priming you for you to not believe in yourself for you not to follow your own intuition your own heart but to constantly give your power away to them for them to lead for them to to be the center of attention for them to have their last say for them to um, constantly control you and and you need to so you need to the the way to um, when you finish a relationship with narcissist or if you have been somebody who has been brought up by a narcissistic parent then you'll know that the recovery process is very much all around uh, an unconditional self-love uh, building unconditional self-trust and um, and really allowing yourself for the, probably for the first time in your life to have your own needs met first to live life on your terms and this means creating healthy boundaries and um, having healthy boundaries with other people and even going to great lengths of um, getting rid of toxic people out of your life you know if you as and when you start to heal that narcissistic abuse and allow yourself to feel it and heal it and really like the the way to really um heal things is is to almost like return to those all of those places in the past where you have been so badly hurt and and um, bruised and face it over again allow yourself to feel it as much as you can in the knowing that you are safe that nobody will hurt you that that you are simply reliving this momentarily to feel all that pain uh, acknowledge that this has happened and then release it allow that pain to flow through you and out and when you do this it, it initially it's a little bit scary but when you do this you will realize how incredibly freeing this whole process is because what you are basically signaling to your subconscious mind is that i'm ready to face this whatever has happened in the past i'm ready to see myself as a powerful creator as a deliberate creator who is willing to heal so that i so that you can ascend you can release all those painful emotions and ascend on a on a vibrational scale to a higher vibrational energy of feeling empowered feeling healed feeling taken care of feeling safe and and they will ultimately you know when you face those past pains and challenges you're basically allowing that to flow through you and out and getting rid of it and and come into peace with all that past all that has happened um i love um personally a few different techniques and modalities but one i can mention that works miracles is a method called hoponono it's a hawaiian indig indigenous um, healing method where you basically simply acknowledge the event bring up the event from your subconscious mind to the conscious mind to the present moment sort of visualize what has happened and how who's hurt you in the past um 
what occurred in that specific scenario and then really allow yourself to feel that pain but then basically release it and let it go and say I love you I forgive you and I love myself and I forgive myself and um, you'll be amazed how such radical forgiveness um, both forgiving the person and forgiving yourself can have such a beautiful um, tremendous um, healing impact on you um, you'll feel more free more liberated from the pain and you'll be able to really see yourself through a very different set of glasses instead of feeling like a victim that something has happened to you you will now feel like an empowered creator that no matter what has happened in the past, you are able to transcend it and shift the low vibrational emotion into a high vibrational emotion and really choose and focus on what you want in your life instead. Um, and I, what you really want in your life instead is making peace with the past, seeing yourself as a powerful creator who is not held back by the past but who is empowered by the past and grateful for the past because even some of the most horrific situations of the past always make us stronger and um, the way I like to think about healing is that um, I really believe that we choose every single trauma every single difficulty every single challenge we experience in our lives I believe we choose that at the soul level um, prior to incarnating onto the earth plane so when you then find yourself in this dense three-dimensional environment you will um, you will be put through the, the scenarios and situations and meet people who might potentially you know be hurtful and abusive but it always is working for you so that you can learn the lesson and shift it later on in life once you become sort of aware of uh, of um the need to heal it the man because your subconscious mind will signal to you you through triggers that you are ready to shift something to release something so this is why um uh, different people often trigger us um because um you know we don't experience triggers for the sake of triggers we experience the triggers as a signal from from our subconscious mind and from the universe that, that you're strong enough to deal with this you're strong enough to face it you're strong enough to let it go you are smart you're wise you are you have so much wisdom and power inside of you that you are now you know ready to set yourself free and let it go and release um, that pain from your system um because and it really works for you because when something is released from your system and you know space opens up so something even more beautiful can come into your life so really think about healing as a way of um ascending and uh, letting go of the of the, the the bad and welcoming the good into your life so um i really hope this video has um opened your eyes to the possibility of healing and um, and a little bit to sort of inspire you to start working on yourself daily to build that self-trust to trust your heart to trust your intuition to trust your choices to make choices from the heart and um, really allow yourself to to have your needs met first I love setting intentions for everything and um, I even remember setting an intention for um, completely and fully healing you know every pain and every trauma um, from my personal narcissistic abuse that I have gone through when I was a child um, I won't lie it hasn't been easy for me but I know that the more I surrender to the process of healing and I allowed the healing to come and I allowed and I really prayed and, and you know asked the universe for support and asked for it to be gentle and, and empowering and really set an intention around um, um, for that healing to be um, quick and transformative 
and really um, empowering. I really wanted to, at the end of it, feel empowered and liberated. So that's what I set the intention for. And, um, you know, love and behold, it really has been the case for me. And I now see every healing um, in a much more positive way than I ever did in the past. Um, so I, I hope you enjoyed listening to this video and I'm sending you a lot of love and joy. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in, in another video. Please subscribe, like and share. And um, if you enjoyed this video and I hope I can um, be um, with you in your own healing and ascension journey um, in the next um, possible future. Namaste. Much love.